What do you think is the most difficult aspect of building a civilization on Mars who will never return back to Earth? Uh, no, they could certainly return. Some will return back to Earth. They will choose to stay there yeah. for the rest of their lives. Yeah, many will. Um, but uh, we need the spaceships back, like the ones that go to Mars. Right. We need them back. So yeah. you can hop on if you want, yeah. you know. It's, it's like, yeah. But we can't just not have the spaceships come back. We, those things are expensive. We need them back. I'd like to come back and do another trip. I mean, do you think about the terraforming aspect, like actually building? Are you so focused right now on the spaceships part that's so critical yeah, yeah. to get to Mars? Yeah, yeah. We absolutely, if you can't get there, nothing else matters. So, and like I said, you, you, we can't get there with at some extraordinarily high cost. I mean, the current cost of, um, let's say, one ton to the surface of Mars is on the order of a billion dollars. So, because you don't just need the rocket and the launch and everything, you need like a heat shield, you need, you know, guidance system, you need uh, deep space communications, uh, you need some kind of landing system. So, like rough approximation would be, uh, a billion dollars per ton to the surface of Mars right now. Um, this is obviously um, way too expensive to create a self-sustaining civilization. Um, so we need to improve that by at least a factor of a thousand. A million per ton? Yes, ideally less than, much less than a million a ton. But if it's not, like it's gotta be, you have to say like, what, well, how much can society afford to spend or want to, just want to spend on a self-sustaining city on Mars. The self-sustaining part is important. Like it's just the, the key threshold, um, the, the great filter will, will have been passed when the city on Mars it can survive even if the spaceships from Earth stop coming for any reason. It doesn't matter what the reason is, but if they stop coming for any reason, will it die out or will it not? And if there's even one critical ingredient missing, then it still doesn't count. It's like you know, if you're on a long sea voyage and you've got everything except vitamin C, <laughs> and it's only a matter of time, you know, you're going to die. <laughs> so so we've got to get Mars, a Mars city to the point where it's self-sustaining. Um, I'm not sure this will really happen in my lifetime, but I, I hope to see it at least have a lot of momentum. And, and then you could say, okay, what is the minimum tonnage necessary to uh, have a self-sustaining city? Um, and there's a lot of uncertainty about this. You could say, like, I don't know. Uh, it's pr probably at least a million tons because um, you have to set up a lot of infrastructure on, on Mars. Um, like I said, you can't be missing any anything that, in order to be self-sustaining, you can't be missing, like you need, you know, semiconductor f fabs, you need iron ore refineries, you, like you need all, lots of things, you know. Uh, so, um, and Mars is not super hospitable. It's, it's the least inhospitable planet, but it's definitely a fixer upper of a planet. Outside of Earth. Yes. Earth, Earth is pretty Earth good. Earth is like easy. <laughs> yeah. And also, I should, we should clarify, in the solar system. Yes, in the solar system. There might be nice, like, vacation spots. There might be some great planets out there, but uh, it's too hopeless. Too hard to get there? Yeah, way, 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 way too hard, uh, <laughs> to say the least. 